Imagine if your job was counting penguins and your office was the wild landscape of Antarctica. Scientists from Stony Brook University in New York have been keeping an eye on penguin numbers to help us understand our changing climate. FM4 Clima News. My name is Dr. Alex Borowitz. I'm the lead scientist on the Greenpeace Weddell Sea expedition. The Weddell Sea is below South America. Dr. Alex and his team have spent weeks there counting penguins. It's as pleasant a way of spending your working day as any other. But their research is of great scientific significance, explains Greenpeace campaigner Louisa Casson. So penguins are really important for scientists to study because not only are they iconic and adorable, they also give us important clues about what's happening in their broader environment. That means scientists call them a sentinel species. They indicate what's going on, how fast climate change is impacting, the different disruptions it's causing, and other threats like industrial fishing, how those are affecting the whole ecosystem. Well, actually, the scientists have a rare piece of good news for us. It seems that Adelie penguins, they're the ones who look like they're wearing a tuxedo, have found a sanctuary away from the worst ravages of the climate crisis. It's really a across the, the western side of the Weddell Sea, at all of the Adelie penguin colonies that we've visited, we've seen some pretty good evidence for stability in these populations, uh, which is quite exciting because on the other side of the Antarctic Peninsula, Adeli penguin populations have really declined. So seeing uh, at least that stability for now means that it seems at least that climate change is, is moving a little more slowly in the Weddell Sea for, for these species at least. That's not just important for the penguins, but for much more besides, again, because of the clues that penguins give us about the health of the wider Antarctic environment. If Adeli populations are remaining stable in, in the Weddell Sea, that gives us hope that the rest of the Weddell Sea ecosystem is, is doing okay for now, uh, that the, the worst of climate change is, uh, is certainly not here yet, and maybe we'll, we'll give all of these species a little more time to adapt as, uh, as the climate changes down in Antarctica. If these species have found a temporary refuge from the climate crisis, then this refuge needs to be protected. Places like the Weddell Sea that might be a, a refuge against climate change are, are places that are absolutely key to maintaining species and biodiversity. We really need to keep these places where things are going okay for now, free of any sort of other potential negative impacts, things like fishing and all of these other uh, human impacts, so that they can keep on going while other places might be struggling. This is just yet more evidence of why that is so critical to protect places that are still really healthy habitats for amazing wildlife like penguins. It's just another reason why governments should be acting now to protect the Weddell Sea while they still can. There should already be a protected area here. The Weddell Sea is part of a vast marine protection area that was first proposed a decade ago by the Antarctic Ocean Commission. That's a, a group of 25 nations and political entities, including the USA and the European Union. But a decade on, nothing has come of all those words. Governments at the Antarctic Ocean Commission have failed year on year to complete what they promised to do over 10 years ago. They promised to create a network of ocean sanctuaries that could help preserve and maintain the health of the Antarctic Ocean as it faces the impacts of climate change and threats like industrial fishing. So all governments collectively need to step up, they need to get this protection done. That means creating large-scale Antarctic Ocean sanctuaries here in the Weddell Sea, around the Antarctic Peninsula and around of all of the Antarctic Ocean so that penguins and whales and seals can actually have a healthy environment long into the future. Scientists say we need to protect at least 30% of our oceans if they're going to continue to function as a life support system for the planet. But currently, just 1% of the world's oceans are under strict protection. There are other worrying changes afoot in Antarctica, a process rather wonderfully known as gentrification. These are Gentoo penguins, and they are on the move. 
Gentoo penguins have been moving south into new parts of the Antarctic Peninsula, and we've found a, a new Gentoo penguin colony uh, just off the northern tip of the Antarctic Peninsula, the farthest south Gentoo colony in the Weddell Sea area. And all of these movements of, of Gentoo penguins suggest that the larger ecosystem of Antarctica is changing. We're used to seeing Gentoo penguins further north in places like the Falkland Islands or on the coast of Argentina. They actually don't like it when it's too icy. They can't breed when it's too icy. They don't like sea ice. And that's why it's worrying finding them in places so far south in Antarctica. Gentoo penguins are more abundant further north in less icy areas. And traditionally this area is too icy for them to breed successfully. So this discovery really shows how fast the pace of change is happening here in the Antarctic as we're seeing different species facing different kinds of disruptions as impacts hit the Antarctic. Even if the Weddell Sea is a climate refuge, that doesn't mean that, uh, that the area is immune from climate change at all. Uh, some of the most rapid climate changes have happened in Antarctica, but for the rest of the world and, and the Weddell Sea, these changes are coming and they, they will be happening, just perhaps more slowly than on other, in other parts of the Antarctic Peninsula. Thank you so much for joining us for this episode of FM Fear Klima News. And thank you for all of your comments. I have noticed that some of the topics we have breached have been quite controversial, but everyone loves penguins, right? Thank you so much and goodbye until next week. FM Fear Klima News.